Hi. While Foglight offers more capabilities than most of the competing SQL Server monitoring products out there, uh, many customers simply want to view query performance data in the simplest way. Uh, this video is going to give you a few different options on the quickest and easiest ways to dive into query performance statistics uh, when monitoring SQL Server databases in Foglight. The default global view to Foglight is this general databases dashboard, which, give, which gives you either a heat map or a table representation of your entire environment. And again, while this includes a lot of information broadly across the SQL Server, you may just want to focus in on query statistics, in which case you may choose to use the databases-sql PI view here. You can see some similarities in data presented, but notice a focus on query statistics and specifically weight events. This workload column in the PI global view shows you the overall workload occurring on a SQL Server, and if you hold your mouse over it, you can see that expanded where the colors represent different categories of weights that are occurring on a database server. You'll eventually start to recognize these colors as they will be consistent every time you come into Foglight, but if you want an explanation or a legend, just hold your mouse over the workload column and you'll see them. If you prefer this global view to the general default, over on the right-hand side of Foglight, you'll see a link to make this your home page. That way you'll be presented with this PI view every time you log into Foglight. Now to drill deeper into query statistics, if you take, for example, maybe my top instance here, you'll see a little arrow, we call these quick links, that allow you to dive more deeply into query stats. The two that are gonna focus most specifically on queries are the SQL PI view, which will give you a historical representation of query performance, or the sessions view, which will give you a real-time view of the sessions that are connected and what they're doing. I'll go into PI here first. Now that we're focused on PI, you'll again see a focused look for the instance that we've selected on query performance metrics. The default is to show this data over the last hour, but choosing the time range in the upper right-hand corner is just a matter of first choosing the window of time you want to analyze. Maybe one hour is not quite broad enough for us, and we'd like to see eight hours. And then you'll see this window is one that you can drag back and forth. So perhaps you want to see an eight-hour window, but one that started yesterday at 10 a.m. Just drag your mouse as close as you're comfortable and let go, and you'll see the screen refresh. You can further zoom in on time ranges by holding your mouse over the axis of any graph that you see in Foglight and dragging a region. And once you've zoomed in to your liking, you'll see a button in the upper left-hand corner of the graph where you can refresh the entire page with the new time range that you've zoomed in on. Now that we've focused in on a time range, again, we're in the PI drill down. This is going to be laser focused on query performance. Oftentimes, you just want to know what's the worst thing running on a database server, right? What is the most resource intensive query, database, program, user? And activity highlights are going to focus in on the worst one or two things that are running on a server. For example, I've got a particular query here. You'll see the select star from production.transaction history. It's consumed 33% of the overall workload, most of that time spent on network weight. So if that's really our, our primary focus, what is that worst SQL statement? Look into the highlights tab, and it'll expose that for you. If you want to do full analysis on all of the activity captured during this time range, though, that's where these dimensions come in handy. And we can drill down by any dimension that we'd like. Maybe we want to start at the databases dimension. I can see that my AdventureWorks database here is my top consumer of CPU. Drilling into AdventureWorks, I can see that there are lots of users that are connecting and running queries against AdventureWorks. Finally, drilling down on a user I'm interested in, I can see the queries that were run uh, by that user during the time range. And drilling all the way down to an individual SQL query now gives me a historical perspective of how that individual query uh, executed during the time range that I've selected. You have a few other drill down links down at the bottom of the screen once we've highlighted a query outside of the scope of this video, but if you want to look at the execution plan, send that query over to our optimizer, or maybe compare that query to a different time range, um, those are all nice options to continue your diagnostics. So that oftentimes is the easiest way to get into query performance data in Foglight. You know, starting at either the general databases view or the focused PI global view, maybe finding what your top workload consuming instance is, or just jumping into an instance that you know you want to investigate, hitting the quick link so that you can jump straight to PI, and then either viewing the highlights or navigating through the dimension tree to focus in on specific types of activity. 
One other option that you do have in Foglight is to create custom dashboards. Uh, while we try to build out of the box dashboards that serve most users' needs, there are going to be times where you might want to build your own to focus in on exactly what you particularly want to see. There's a set of custom dashboards that we provide through a user community in what's called the database expansion pack. If you have that loaded into your management server, you can then go into the SQL Server section, specifically dashboards. And you'll see there's actually a focused dashboard here that focuses on SQL Server weights and top queries. If you select that dashboard over on the right-hand side of the screen in the Actions tray, you'll see a Page Input section where you can toggle between different instances of SQL Server and focus in on the wait events and queries for that particular instance. And you'll see this view is really as simple as it comes. You've got a graph of weight statistics at the top of the screen, so you can focus on different categories of weights that are impacting your workload. And then down at the bottom of the screen, you get a list of top SQL queries. There's some filtering that you can do if you want to focus in on a database or a user. And then you'll see for each of those top queries, a simple view of resource utilization, focusing in on a resource category or seeing all metrics through the workload section. So this oftentimes may become something that customers use in Foglight for those very simple use cases where they just want to look at the top queries running on a system. And again, just like with a PI view, you can make this your home page if this is going to be your primary interface to Foglight. And custom dashboards like the one I'm showing here are also possible for you to create yourselves, and we can of course work with you on scoping out how that would be done. So hopefully this video has helped kind of showing that while Foglight does have dozens of capabilities that expands far beyond query performance diagnostics for those customers who specifically want the simplest way to view query level statistics, there's a few options that I think you can explore as shown in the video. Thank you.